Hello everybody, this is Brooke, aka Supernatural Summer 34, and today we are back at it with another creatism. So, first of all, I would like to say that I am sorry I've been so bad about videos for the past two weeks. I have a ton recorded, but I just haven't found the time to do voiceovers for any of them. And my lack of videos also means that I haven't done a single Black History Month creatism, even though I intended to do one every week, but I will try my hardest to get on that. But today we made a Visco Girl. I've actually had her ready since I think it was probably the very beginning of January. And I think they turned out really cute. A lot of Visco is the accessories though, so it didn't do a super great job. I gave them very beachy looks to try and make up for the lack of like scrunchies and the shell necklaces and stuff. Um, there might, don't hold me to this, but there might be... CC links in the description. I'm really bad about remembering to do that though. So. But in this video I'd like to say that by making these aesthetics I am in no way trying to make fun of them. I think a lot of them are very pretty and I would probably be an e-girl if I had the wardrobe. Visco girls, as far as I know, do not deserve the hate they got back when the idea first started. I think it's really stupid how everything popular that people do gets ridiculed and this is coming from someone who used to hate Fortnite simply on the basis that it was popular so it must be bad. It's an idiotic mindset to have so we should stop making fun of girls for wearing scrunchies or oversized shirts. I will proudly say that my sister is practically a visco girl in training and that there's nothing wrong with the way she dresses. But on to some quick stories. This first one is centered ar around a guy named Zach who was in my fourth grade class. Now Zach is a sweet and funny guy but he was no nerd. An example of this is when we were writing our papers, probably the one we did on white-tailed deer, and Zach raised his hand. Our teacher nodded to him that she would be over in a minute, but apparently he took that to mean that he could blurt out his question. So this fourth grader, who was reading chapter books, by the way, asked the entire class how to spell the word was. But we are coming up on the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you all soon.